Seamus College and City of Columbia have partnered together to work on rain garden projects across campus. The campus sits in the watershed for Flat Branch Creek and Hingston Creek. The college has identified that those resources are valuable to the community and the college and the partnership between the City of Columbia and Stevens is very valuable. It allows us to make our dollars go further. It's an ability to pool resources and provide a little bit of educational outreach for these installations, for the local population, for students and visitors to campus. We have a rain event here in Columbia. All of the storm water that lands on half of Stephen Campus's college drains into the Flat Branch watershed. All that storm water works its way down through downtown Columbia to Fifth Street, the Flat Branch Park. Everything on the other side of Stevens campus works its way down through campus and through the subdivision of Benton Stevens to Hinkson Creek. The idea of the rain garden is to collect that first flush. Not that big heavy rain of three inches in 45 minutes, but that smaller short summer rain, spring rain, that gets the pollutants moving, the floatables, the plastic bottles, things that come from our day-to-day -day activities as citizens in Columbia. Stevens College understands the benefit of installing BMP's rain garden specifically to slow down the flashiness of stormwater runoff and it benefits the local streams and recreational uses for those areas. On the collaboration between City of Columbia and Stevens College, we utilize both student body, employees and staff of the college, and volunteer workers from the City of Columbia. We planted two rain gardens in the space of one morning's worth of work. It's amazing to see everyone come together as a community to help with efforts to keep Columbia more sustainable. We will continue to pursue these efforts with Stevens College and other local entities in helping protect our local creeks and streams. These types of projects are very important not only to the community, but the health of our citizens.